What's going on everybody? We're here at the HQ. Dylan's got the Cookie Monster singing AI generated Calgary Barbell Christmas carols. And uh, yeah, it's a wacky time. So I don't know when this video is going to come out. Um, probably after Christmas then? No, I'll be before. Okay, well, I hope everybody's having a, a wonderful holiday season. Uh, however you choose to celebrate, whatever you choose to do, hopefully it's good. And you get to, I don't know, take some time off of work or whatever you like to do. So, um, we're going to dig into some more training. And this might be one of the last ones that's going to be this style. I think I said that last time as well, but we're, uh, we're coming up on putting together our next little bit of the more intense vlogs. But... All that being said, let's get into it. Training has uh, has honestly been going exceptionally well. I've been very very happy with uh, with how things are progressing. Um, we got some front squats here up to 145. Focus is a little off. I'm gonna blame Dylan, um, despite the fact that he didn't film this set. But yeah, I was able to actually bring the reps down on my front squats, which felt really good. Going from eights to sixes, it's still it's a lot of friggin reps I'm getting better and stronger at front squats so it's a little bit more weight like driving down on my Adam's apple um, but hey my dog was pretty stoked this day I think he actually just finished wrestling with Dylan and Dan and was eyeing them up they were over on the other side of the gym there and he had started wrestling with them and then ran over to me to hide underneath me um, we're progressing on these. So these used to be those landmine RDLs and now I'm doing them with a dumbbell. Um, one of the things that Seth wants me to do is to try to get my back leg a little straighter out behind me, a little more hip extension on, I guess, my right leg in this shot here. Oh, you can't even see Bronson. There we go. Um, but yeah, try to get my, my right leg a little more straight out behind me there. The problem is my balance is pretty poor on these still, so it'll take me a little bit to get used to. But uh, man, these really, yeah, these really torched my legs in kind of a good way. Um, finally found a, a half decent setup with these uh, spread eagle sit up things here. So I've got like a plate on either side, and then the big plate, and that anchors the bar in pretty well to the point where I can hook my feet on it because my feet don't fit under the rack which was Seth's original select suggestion for kind of anchoring because one of the big things is, is he wants like a lot of adductor in these right so my my feet are way out and I'm hooking them to help pull myself into that setup there's Bronson again prominently featured in this update which obviously is a very good thing the more Bronson the better I think honestly um, some close grip bench, so higher reps here on this day and getting into what Mike calls a structure block. So essentially, um, I think the way that Mike's kind of like splitting his distinctions right now are between structure and skill blocks. At least those are sort of the two big ways to split it up. Structure being things like hypertrophy, work capacity, um, you know, uh, energy systems, all those kinds of things that are sort of precursors for the ability to get good training in to build strength. Um, and because the overall volume, the amount of like peripheral stress, and when I say peripheral, I mean things like uh, there's been a lot of machine press and dips and, and a lot of that kind of stuff. Because all that's pretty high right now, what I've done is actually pulled back pretty hard on my bench intensity. I've also found over the last while now that when I pull my bench intensity back things tend to progress a lot better I tend to be able to make more progress and and build more momentum when I just start off a block really really conservatively so this is close grip incline um, my incline is not a not my strongest lift and it's one of those lifts that I'm, I'm honestly I'm looking really forward to trying to build and trying to push and trying to get better with. I think that's going to be helpful for me. Um, you know, being that it is one of my weaknesses, I think anytime I can bring up any of those upper body weaknesses, it's going to be a good thing. So on this day, I was doing what are called myo reps. And so this first set, I believe, was 15. And then you'll see me rest for about five or six breaths. 
and then go again. And basically you repeat the five or six breath rest and an AMRAP until the AMRAP hits whatever the second protocol prescribed is. So in this case, it was 15 out of nine to I think four out of 10. So you'll see me take my breaths here. I'll unrack, I'll go for a few more. And I'm not sure if I got all the way to my second protocol on this first set. It looks like that first rep was pretty hard though, so. Yeah, looks like this is going to be 4 out of 10. You can see me struggling to lock out there. Well, maybe not. Went for a little more. All right. Uh, this day, I was able to really scale up my block pulls, which I was pretty happy to be able to do, honestly. I'm able to get some, some heavier weights in my hands. Uh, things still feeling really good. And you'll see I shortened the blocks a little bit. Normally, I have a 45-pound plate under these mats. And that's a, oh God, is that ever a pain in the ass? The bar bounces around, rolls around. Often Dylan comes over and like helps adjust the, the mats and stuff between reps even um, because it just, it bounces so much, bounces so much when I'm doing it that way. But as you can see, I'm able to get into a pretty advantaged position. Uh, this was 295 kilos. You'll see, we're getting, see, more, mats today. We're getting more mats today. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so these mats are from Huge Life. Shoutouts to Huge Life. Uh, and apparently we're getting more today. Um, this was 305. So definitely, you know, scaling to the point where these are, you know, uh, not necessarily for this variation, but these are working weights that I would be using for really whatever. Probably more like volume from the floor, but we're getting there. Uh, and this was 320, so mo the most weight I've touched on a pole in a long time. And still feeling like, you know, not really any kind of RPE. Grip feeling great, holding up well, and uh, yeah, I can't really complain with that. We got some side bends here. So again, these used to be done in the back extension that you can kind of see back there. And now I've adapted these, or Seth's rather, um, programmed these as a, a cable loaded thing. So similar, you know, uh, side bend pattern. And I, I've, get, I've been asked a number of times, like, why do I do this, you know, weird rotational stuff? And why do I do this bendy stuff and, and things like that? And I think part of it is just getting better at things that I'm really bad at. And part of it is hopefully by strengthening myself and becoming more resilient in some of these weird positions, I can be, I guess, better prepared for all of the different stresses that you know may manifest from actual training you know if i end up slightly off kilter if i end up in a slightly different position it's not like i've never been in that position before it's not like i've never trained my muscles anywhere close to that i think one of the things i want to try to get away from a little bit is being so hyper specialized with all of my movement again another example of you know really kind of sandbagging at the beginning of the block here on the bench, 165 kilos for triple, supposed to be at eight. And I think it was probably more like a six and a half or seven, but again, you know, really trying to allow myself a lot of room to build momentum. Some two count pause work here, 157 for a triple. Hopefully I kept these counts honest. One, two, one, two, yeah, I mean, I would give those to my athletes, which says a lot. Anybody who is coached by me knows how much of a stickler I can be for those counts when it comes to two and three count pause stuff. This was, I think this was my heavier machine press day. So just sets of eight or 10 with, uh, you know, a decent amount of weight on there, getting up into the sort of nine RPE range. I really love this machine, honestly. I was, I was happy we were able to pick one of these up. It's a hammer strength. We got it on auction and uh, it's been a great, great addition to the gym. You'll see me use it a few times. I'm doing mile reps on one of my other exposure days on it and uh, doing, you know, some heavier chest press on that day. Back on the chest supported row, this block, which is a lot of fun. A few more reps here. I think we're still going for five out of 10, which is a relatively, you know, high intensity set. But yeah, went for four plates on the side there and was pretty happy at, at how well my strength held up on this movement, actually. Um, you know, kind of expected it to be a little a little more dropped off. This is... So this is one of my favorite training days I've had in a long time. This was high bar pause squats. Um, the weight's light. 
you know, starting off at 165 here, but everything just kind of felt like it should, you know what I mean? Like it felt like I could squat. I wasn't really worrying about anything. I wasn't wrapped up trying to think about my knee or trying to think about my hip or trying to think about, you know, making sure I maintain my bracing. Everything just kind of felt normal. Also, yes, I am filling out my weight class a little bit better these days. I'm, I'm actually happy at how, uh, how the, the old 2XL shirts have been fitting lately, honestly. So it feels good to be able to, you know, uh, get a little closer to actually being, you know, something, <laughs> something resembling a 120 here. Waking up around 117, 118 these days which for me is pretty heavy. So that I think has been really helping the bench along and probably not hurting my squat progression either. I'll be doing some low bar squats for the first time this weekend. First time in a long time here. You can see I was jabbering a lot this day, talking shit with one of my buddies there. Uh, 182 for this set. And I mean, everything kind of looked the same, right? Like it all just looks the same it felt very much the same but i remember doing these pause squats for the first time with 175 i think the previous week here and it felt like work kind of which was aggravating i didn't like the fact that it felt like work i was like this is this is 175 like why does this feel hard for me to do but this day went through four full you know four sets which for me is a lot of volume at this point um regardless of how light the intensity is and work my way up to 185 here, nice and smooth. Yes, that's my high bar position. Um, I think there's a there's a lot of uh, back and forth in in some cases about what high bar is, what low bar is. Honestly, my high bar is slightly higher than my low bar, and my low bar is just wherever the bar is most comfortable. You know, I squat low bar and people are like, "That's low bar," and then I squat high bar and people are like, "That's high bar." Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. You know, it feels different. I move the bar enough that it feels like a different squat, and that's really all I care about. These um, have progressed a little bit as well. Now I used to do these pretty much just as much range of motion as I could kind of get, and now I've progressed to a longer range of motion with sort of a push-up catch, and have been able to bang out like multiple sets of, of eight or ten reps here. Uh, trying to work really hard. I think one of the things that I'm, I'm thinking about a lot on this is trying to maintain this hip extension and not let my hips come back out of the bottom. Try to just like maintain a relatively neutral position, stay relatively well braced throughout, all that kind of good stuff. And that was my last set and I didn't get a hamstring cramp until my last set of the day. So that's all good. With these, um, again, these have progressed from Ooh, I'll move myself here. These have progressed from being a, a kettlebell where I was kind of rotating in both directions at once um, to, or at least alternating directions to cable loaded. So a little bit more loading. Um, I think we only have a couple of kettlebells here. So this allows me to slowly scale the load up a little bit better. And I'll spare you this shot here specifically. Um, and yeah, it allows me to load things a little bit more and, and do just one side at a time. So incline, this was actually one of my back off sets. I didn't film my top set, but it wasn't much more than this incline. Like I said, not one of my specialties, but definitely something I'm looking forward to being able to push a little bit, looking forward to having some progress there. I've gotten pretty good at overhead in the past, uh, to the point where I think I was doing, you know, 165, 175 singles on overhead or sorry on uh, on incline but i just haven't trained it much in recent past recent history uh so yeah looking forward to being able to bring that up a bit and this was my reps on the chest press so again uh i think maybe supposed to be going for 15 on this first set but i had such a chest pump that i think i got 14 on my first set and then three on my first am rep so i was just like a rep short on both didn't even get one full you know cycle through one full activation you'd call it on my reps but you can see me really struggling to lock out here and i'm not sure that i even get yeah i didn't even get lockout on that 14th rep a few breaths and then again i think i got to my third rep and like essentially failed it again 
like didn't quite get the lock out there either. Just struggle city, but man, is that a good chest pump? I don't know. I love that movement. It just feels great to do. Feels good. So that's training for this week. Um, you know, I'll, I'll continue to film stuff. I'll continue to put these out until we're ready to make a venture back into some more higher production stuff. Um, we're continuing to work on some other things in the background. We've got some really exciting stuff coming out on the tube. Probably not till the new year, but when it does come out, I think it'll be uh, it'll be a good turn in the right direction for the channel. So. Uh, excited to get that stuff out to everybody excited to get that those projects finished but yeah until next time like I said I hope everybody has a has a happy holidays be safe out there whatever you do don't drink and drive and yeah we'll see everybody in the next one happy gains and uh, yeah that's it bye <laughs>